comes as school districts in Pennsylvania weigh new mask rules because now they are setting their rules of their own, not the state. Jenny, as you saw tonight, the debate is drawing a crowd. Yeah, it is. I'm live here um, outside of Centennial School District headquarters in Bucks County, and tonight its school board voted to make masks optional. It's certainly an issue that stirs up feelings on both sides. A major decision impacting more than 5,000 students, even more staff. Masks are now optional in the Centennial School District. The new policy voted on by the school board at tonight's meeting is effective immediately. Yes. Many in the crowd supporting the decision with a round of applause, but many others, including Tina Karens, a parent and virologist, strongly oppose the change. If you have mask optional, it's you might as well have no masks because it's not going to stop the spread. It will only help as a great mitigation measure if everyone wears them. I think it's time to remove the uh, mask mandate. I think it's been time. Mental health of our children is, is, is affected by this. The socialization is affected by this. Speech problems are going to be out the wazoo from, from this. We talked to Superintendent Dr. Dana Bedden before tonight's meeting. He says he supports an objective mask policy like the existing one based on metrics, community transmission rates. We had yesterday our largest uh, one day single case report that we received from the county yesterday with a number of students. Uh, that were reported. And what is that number? Oh, we had 12 in, in one day uh, case report. That so didn't happen all the district. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Bedden says while he can offer a recommendation, the school board determines the district's policy and he will support the board's ruling. The previous board uh, preferred uh, to, to be erring aside of caution, and so we implemented that. If, if the current board wants to change it, we'll implement that as best we can to try to keep kids and staff as safe as possible. And tonight, one board member did try to table this discussion and ultimate decision until after the holidays, but that idea was shot down again. Masking optional is now effective immediately. Back to you, Jason. Jenny Joyce, thank you very much.